Sometimes before a story could be told, you must tell the story of another. In the two-part story Growing Pains that took place between issue 28 and 29 of the Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comics, following his battle with Amnesia under Robotnik's direction, where he not only laid out Tails, but his other companions too, a fed up Tails runs away to get away from him and the others. He wasn't just angry about Sonic attacking him, it was also a combination of feeling like he wasn't valued because he was little. Tails fires up his submarine the Sea Fox and took it out to sea, completely unaware Robotnik was spying on him from a nearby tree. He decides that Tails will be an easy target and sends out one of his leftover robot duplicates to target the young fox. Arriving at an uncharted island, Tails hears a girl calling out for help and still feeling like he didn't need any assistance from the Freedom Fighters, he went to help her alone. What he saw next before him made him experience love at first sight. Tied to a palm tree was a pretty red lady fox with a yellow ribbon on her head. He freed her right away without thinking to question why she was in the middle of nowhere in the first place. She tells him her name is Fiona. We the readers call her Auto Fiona. She embraced her hero immediately. They held hands and Tails seemingly gained his first kiss right before they frolicked together on their own personal little island. In the middle of that, Robotic was watching from a distance in disgust as his robot was walking Tails into a trap where she had him thinking he was going to her home. Being very young still, Auto Fiona was very likely his first real experience with love, so he was getting ready to get a crash course in the meaning of love hurts. Tails entered the tunnel first, where Robotnik closed the gate on him. That's where he learned the love of his life was a robot and was working for the most vile creature on the face of the planet. He wasn't just in some foxhole, he was actually in the tube of a roboticizer that Otto Fiona had powered up under Robotnik's orders. In fact, the entire island itself was a machine. Even with knowing she was a robot, Tails was still pleading with her right before she was ordered to pull the switch to roboticize him. It would be a tragic yet fitting end for Tails. He could be together forever for real with Fiona as a robot, but he'll still be doing it under his worst mortal enemy. But it wasn't about to go down that way. Following up in part 2 of issue 29, Tails overloaded the roboticizer with the fur from his tails and blew the door open. Once it appeared Robotnik was in danger, defense mode kicked in and Robot Girl punched Tails square in the face. She then proceeded to continue the assault further when she grabbed a club and attempted to bash his head in. Tails still very much cared for the robot, so he was prepared to fly away rather than fight her, but he was still dealing with the island itself when a palm tree wrapped itself around him. He didn't want to fight Auto Fiona, but he had zero issue doing so with Robotnik. Tails overpowered the tree with the power of his tails and then proceeded to smack him out to sea using it. The robot fox was far from done however, she tackled Tails into the water and started beating him horribly. That's where Robotnik used the distraction to escape the island. But robots and water don't mix. As she started to short circuit, Tails tried his best to swim to a submarine. However, she recovered long enough to catch him and began drowning him for four panels, but he still didn't fight back. Instead, he continued to plead with her to stop. Eventually, she came to a stop anyway. The seawater finally caught up with her and caused her to shut down. Tails still loved and respected the robot so much he carried it out the water to safety and vowed to make Robotnik repair her so they could be together again. Comedy of an innocent little kid at its best. Eventually, he sailed off in the Sea Fox and that began the start of his three issue miniseries. As he drove away, we could see the robot one last time shedding a tear, almost as if it did have some genuine love for Tails. Little did he know, what he fell for was simply a copy of a real red fox named Fiona the Fox, and the wonderful face he loved so much wouldn't be done breaking his heart.